All right, we're now going to answer question seven here. It says, Tisha plays drums in the same band as Marlon. She would like to buy a new drum kit and has saved $2,500. Tisha could invest this money in an account that pays interest compounding monthly. The balance of this investment after n months, T of n, could be determined using the recurrence relation below. So it's showing you the initial, and then this here is telling you how much interest that you're earning each month. It says we need to calculate the total interest that would be earned by Tisha's investment in the first five months, round your answer to the nearest cent. So the first thing we want to do is find what T5 is going to be. How much are we going to have in our, our account after the first five months? There's a couple of different ways you could go about this. You could come to your calculator and type in 2,500 because that's the amount you're starting with. Hit enter and then times it by this number right here. So 1.0036. And that now is going to tell you that in the first month, you're going to have that much money, second month, third month, fourth month, fifth month. So that means T5 is going to be 2545.33 when I rounded to the nearest cent there. Now I'm not done yet. The next thing I would have to do is say, well, I need to figure out the total interest, right? So that means I would have to take my original. So I would have to take my original and subtract it away from that. So I'm going to go 2545, but that, that, minus 2,500, what I initially had in there. So I'm going to go 2545.33 minus 2500, hit enter. And that's going to leave me with 45.33. And that's going to be my answer. $45.33. I have made that in interest. If we come over here, you can see the answer is $45.33. So that is what you can do there. As you can see, it's worth two marks. So I was uh, sure to show uh, kind of my thinking and what I did. Finding T5 there is important. Uh, because if I was a guessing man, I would say that perhaps they awarded one mark if you found T5, but just forgot to subtract it away. That's just me guessing, but that is what I think for that. But that's how you do it. Before I leave, another way you could get this is instead of, you know, hitting enter a whole bunch of times, you could have created a general rule. You could have said, all right, 2500 times that by, now open your brackets, 1.0036, and then I'm going to raise that to the power of five, and that's going to give me 2545.325. So that's just creating a general rule and then subbing in five. So I think it's important that you understand both ways of doing it, uh, you know, to have the most success. All right, hopefully you found that helpful and I'll see you in the next part.